Hey guys, so instead of doing a reaction today, I thought I would give advice because <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of questions being put out there and I've actually had a lot of men ask, tell me that they want me to do more advice videos. So in this one, we're gonna be answering the question, why she's flaking on you, okay? So you meet a girl, whether in person or online, you guys talk, plan a date, and then when it comes time to the date, she backs out of it. Now, there's a lot of reasons why this can happen, but I'm gonna give you the top reasons. And one in particular is the most important. And you guys let me know if you can tell which one it is. I'll let you know by the end of the video. Number one, you aren't her first option, plain and simple. Uh, she most likely, you are somebody that she agreed to a date f with, and but later on, she connected with a guy that she's more sexually attracted to, one, a guy that she would rather go on a date with. And so even if she doesn't have a date with him that night, a lot of women will start to get emotionally attached to a guy that they've just connected with. And if she has sec higher sexual chemistry with him or attraction, She's just like, well, why bother with the guy of the lower one? Why invest any time or effort into that guy? Um, so for a lot of women, that's what it would be. And or another guy asked her out on that same day and she would rather go out with him. Or she's already, you know, whatever the reason is, you are not her first option. You are, she, there is another guy, there is another man that she would prefer to date than you. And we could kind of spin it and you could try to come up with reasons. But the, the, the bottom line is that attraction, what the guy looks like physically, generally, if she's really sexually attracted to him, it doesn't matter about your personality. It doesn't matter about anything else. Like if she finds him to be the top one, you will definitely just fall back. You are not important to her. She, you are not somebody that she, you know, if, you, if you're trying to figure out mixed signals and things like that, you need to just count it as a loss and that another guy is taking her out. Just, just take it as that. So number two, she just got out of a relationship or she's on an on and off type of thing and she's feeling lonely. She's feeling sad. She needs validation again because, you know, when you break up with someone, generally, even if you are the person who's the actually just two ways, if she was broken up with her self-esteem is probably really low because you feel rejected. She feels as though, you know, your value uh, by, is perceived to be lower because the person who does the dumping is seen as the higher person who's letting you go. So there is a lot of self-esteem issues dealing when you, when you are let go by somebody, especially if you were in love. So she may be in a, she's needing her self-esteem built up. She's feeling sad about things. She wants, uh, she wants to feel special. She wants to feel pretty. She wants to validate to herself that no, that's his loss. There's men who still want me. And the reason why she would chicken out is because it really was wasn't about you. It was about her ex. It's about the other guy. And when it goes time, it's time to go on the date. Either one, they could have reconciled or start talking again. Or two, it's she realizes she's not emotionally there. She's not ready to go and date another guy and to do that. She hasn't given up on what she already has or what she just lost. She thought she was. She had a moment of bravery and strength, and then it just by the time it was the day for it, she just couldn't muster it up to go, you know, spend any time with you because she's too emotional about the other guy. Now, if she's the one that broke up with him, that could be the other thing. A lot of times dumpers immediately following a breakup, they have a very high self-esteem. They really feel special. They feel as though they are more valuable. So she's just like, you know what? If you don't, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm sick of your stuff. I'm going to find a man who's going to do me right. I'm going to find a man. You know what? It's too many men that want me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And so she, all this bravado and she's ready to do all that to prove and to show him she's broken up with him. She don't need him. She can, you know, she can do bad all by herself or she's got, there's plenty of fish in the sea. But then when it comes time to actually going on the date, uh, you know, by that time that her self-esteem may have crashed back down because dumpers generally, it will start to crash back down or she's comparing you to him and realizing that he physically she's more attracted to him. Um, or she's just, even though all this bravado was there, she's still not ready, you know, cause people have on and off relationships, you know, they're together one minute, then they break up and they go back and forth. And so maybe even though she broke up with him, there's still a part of her to still want him. either way. She's just, she's going to flaked on you. It, it wasn't about you yet again. It's about the other guy. Okay. Number three, 
she doesn't ha have high sexual attraction to you. She may think you're kind of cute. She may think you're okay. Her sexual attraction to you may be a six or a seven, but in her heart, she wants a man that is like a nine, 10, really a 10. And we already know that looks are the most important thing on dating apps or even in dating. Looks are what get you in the door, period. Unless you can work with somebody or it's a social setting where they can get to know your personality, it's looks. And so you were maybe kind of funny. Maybe you dressed really nice in your photo. She saw that you like to travel. You had similar interests. But at the end of the day, she's just like your facial structure ain't there the way she likes it. Your body's not the way she likes it. Your height may not be the way she likes it. I'm just giving you the brutal truth, guys. I'm just giving you honest truth. She doesn't feel that chemistry just by looking at you. And so for her, she would rather wait until she finds somebody who does have that. And it's almost like, what's the point? I'm not really that excited to see him. He don't really do it like that. He's okay. He's all right. But it's not really, he's not really my my type. And that's it. She talks herself out of the date because she knows she's just, you know, she could not possibly maybe even see herself sleeping with you. So she, why bother? She knows it probably won't really go anywhere. And so there's nothing you could do about it. There's just something about you that doesn't vibe. You were okay enough. Maybe she was just swiping a lot of guys because she wanted to see what she would get. And it just it just fizzled out for her. By the time it was time for the date, she looked back at your pictures or whatever, it just fizzled and that chemistry was gone and she'd rather go out her girlfriends or stay home and watch Netflix. Number four is you messed up in the conversation. So whether it's text or on the phone, um, maybe you got, you know, your flirting turned too sexual and that kind of scared her off. You could have um, been too abrupt and the way you answered, maybe you were too slow to text back and she felt like you were playing games. I know this goes into a whole bunch of mind games, guys. I know it's it's sickening <laughs> how dating is now, but it could be anything. And you really don't know because people have different personalities, different traumas, different, different things they like, different vibes. And this is why, you know, texting, things can be taken out of context in a text. You're not sure what the emotion or what the tone is behind something. Or maybe, you know, so she could have taken something you said that was simple and she just felt like it was just kind of like abrupt, but it maybe you were just more joking or maybe you were joking too much and digging a little bit. And it just, she didn't like the way you joked. Maybe it was a little too insensitive or maybe it was corny. And it was just like, this dude is corny. I don't, you know, it is, this is why I recommend you do not text a lot before a date. Like you need to set a date, maybe a little bit of convo, but you need to set a date in person to get to know a person because the, the, the text, I'll do a whole video on that, but texting so many things can be taken wrong and done wrong, you gotta wait for this. It is a lot of game playing, but there's ways to get around it and that's by going on an actual date. <laughs> but um, but maybe your, your texting conversation, just something about your, the things you said, the things you talked about, the way it was said, the timing of it, one of those things or all of those things could have turned her off. And she kept thinking that, oh, okay, but then as she got close to the date, she's like, you know what? this ain't it. I'm not going to do it. And so she flakes on you. And that's the hard, that's the hard truth. Number five, you were just something to do. She was bored. Um, she hadn't been out in a while, or maybe she goes out with different guys for food dates. Um, she wanted to take cute pictures out somewhere. She wanted to try the restaurant you were talking about. She just, you know, felt lonely. You, it would, it could be a number of reasons, but it wasn't you she was interested in. She was interested in doing something, but it's not you. And you, it, but she, she liked it. It wasn't you that, that, that held her interest. She was intrigued with the idea of having something to do on Friday night or Saturday night or whatever time it was. Um, and that could be a number of reasons, but most often, you know, if she really would, if it was really about you and wanted to see you and get to know you, she would not flake on that date. But 
when it comes time to it, when they say, you know, you were just something to do, maybe something else came up. Maybe her girlfriends wanted to go out and have a wine, you know, wine tasting, or they wanted to go to the club or they're going to movies, or she decided to stay in or whatever it is. You were just an option of something to do. It doesn't necessarily mean another guy, but you were just one of the options. And she decided, eh, I'd rather do something else. Now, the last reason, and this is the one that is the most excuse, excusable, is that something actually comes up, um, whether her car, uh, family, her job, she had to stay late, um, she got she's feeling sick. There are legitimate reasons why a person will flake on a date. Now I will give, do another video where you can tell what, you know, what you should do when a person flakes. But I just wanted to talk about in here that like the reasons why, and we all know we, I would say probably about 10% of people, they have actually something that has come up where they cannot make the date. All right. And so sometimes you'll never know because a lot of times they'll lie and make up an excuse like that's true. But you'll know by their behavior afterwards and how they respond when they let you know if they truly have something come up or whether it's one of the reasons I list the other five reasons that I listed. OK, so now that I've given all of those, what do you think is the number one reason why a person, why a woman will flake on a date? All right, I'm gonna give you like three seconds. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know if that's three seconds, but yeah, it's sexual attraction. She, you just don't do it for her. That's the cold hard truth. You're not, you are not a nine and 10 in her mind sexually. It could be your facial structure, your hair, your body, your height. It can be one of those, but you just do not do it. If a woman is really into you and think you are fine and you are that, mm, you are giving her that, mm, She's not missing that date unless it's the 10% that's the emergency. She wants to go out with you. She's eager. She's excited. She's planning. She's getting an outfit. She's doing everything because she's getting her nails done. She's preparing for this date. If you are a guy she's really into, she is going to put in that effort and make sure she makes that date because she doesn't want to miss that opportunity with the man that she's so attracted to. So I hope you like this video. It's a little harsh, but I want to just give a little reality to what's out there. So you guys, you know, maybe you guys have heard this before. Maybe you haven't, but I thought it'd be interesting to hear it from a woman's perspective. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one.